One place would be a man who's been tattooing over 60 years and still going strong, who was Zeke's primary mentor. His name is Al Miller, tattooing since 1933, way before Zeke was born. Al still tattoos five days a week at Master Tattoo in San Diego, though he's 75 years old. Zeke remembers him fondly. Well, <clears throat> Al Miller, everybody talks, this, this, it's a new word, heroes, you hear. Yeah, I, I didn't hear anything like that until a few years ago. He's the hero of my tattoo journey. <clears throat> As a person, his lifestyle, one of the best horse player gamblers in the country. Great attitude about everything, great lifestyle, and a real good tattoo artist. I mean, he understands the business. He respects it, and uh, he treats it right does the right thing by his customers, can draw anything, and has, and uh, knows what's in their mind when they come in. A little story I always tell about Al, <clears throat> I was just uh, probably just about 21 years old, and uh, at this particular time, about um, 1961, <clears throat> just come in like a squad at a time, and one guy would speak up, and if they liked the deal there, they'd all stay and get tattoos. So the first guy came in and they all followed him in, you know. And they had to wear their whites off the boat in those days of, you know, no civvies. They had locker clubs, but, but. So he looks up and he sees this big design Al had on the wall. It was uh, King Neptune with a big ship and two mermaids, the whole nine yards. It was this big. <clears throat> and it was my turn, you know. It was Tony was Tony and Al and myself. And he says, uh, tattoo right there. So I look at it, I'm about to blurt out uh, 300 bucks or something. I thought he went on his back, and Al jumped up in front of me, and he says, uh, where do you want to put it? And the guy goes, uh, over here. And I'm thinking, what the hell? And Al says, eh, that's uh, 25 bucks on your arm like that, you know? And the guy says, okay, I'll take it. And I'm going, wow, what a lesson. This guy's a genius, you know? <laughs> and uh, he sat down right away. And the rest of them, they all followed suit. Okay, I'll take this little anchor. We had a little anchor this big, it was three bucks. And about, I had just left L.A., and names had just gone from 50 cents to a dollar up on the pike in Long Beach. I think they were a dollar. You know, before I used to uh, tattoo for 25 cents, see, 50 cents, 25 cents. I think the biggest tattoo I ever put on when I was young, a dollar, that was big money. And uh, I used to put a chess piece, the whole chess, for five dollars, you know. Now they cost a thousand, two thousand, like this. Al used to recount the time. Uh, he was in San Francisco and everybody came there from Nellis Air Force Base. Or, no, that was Nellis, it was, I think, Fairfield, point of entry. And uh, all got names. He said, I did a hundred guys in one day once for a buck a piece for names, you know. I said, really? I said, well, how do you get them in your shop up there? He said, well, I had a coffee can full of cigarette butts. It was like ten shops at the end of the war up there, you know. And uh, he said, I'd sprinkle cigarette butts every day when I came around the sidewalk of the shop. And he said, the guys would go by and look at oh. Let's go around. <laughs> he was a real genius and tattooed great, fast, slick. Stuff healed up real good. So it was a, it was a, I've been really fortunate in working with these older guys that uh, one way or the other I, I learned from them how to put on a clean job. Because in those days they used the same needle on everybody, the same ink, the same whole thing. Nobody ever got a thing. <clears throat> That's not to say it's correct. We all know it's wrong. But I mean it was just amazing because of the technique that they used that was Nothing, no, nothing ever done. Besides doing Zeke and Al, share a common bond in occasionally playing the horses. Well, he wanted to have a lot of money. He was in a bar talking to a, a horse owner, you know. I was uh, in a tattoo shop and he came by and says, Hey, Al. Uh, he bought a farm. He said, Look at his horse. Do you think he had a chance? Uh, look at it. Oh, yeah, he got a good chance. So what he did, he had a lot of money with him. He says, hold my body. <laughs> he, he, he carried a belt. Hold my body, and he's going to take so much to Caliente. And I told him, I said, well, put $100 for me, you know, on the horse. And he came back and threw the uh, 20s after 20s. The horse bought, he said. So I don't know how much, I never asked him how much money he put on him. I know he put a lot of money. I know he likes to gamble. And he, he's, uh, Big gamble, when he gambles, you, you don't fool around with it. We have a lot of people can't remember what to say about you. I know he likes to tattoo. Most of the time he tattoos, he tattoos day and night, you know. Bear down on it. 
that's you've, right. you've put yourself together again this morning? Yeah, ready to attack them for 14 hours today. <laughs>